Welcome, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Mr. Fly Amiro. That's Hello, me. my friend. Hello. How you doing, Ron? We're doing good. We're doing very well. All right, great. Let's put that back in there. This is show 11. Undici for all the Italians. Show undici. And uh, yeah, 11. Wow. 11 is a very cool number. It's a very spiritual number for... Me and my wife, Devin, we even uh, named our production company 1111 Films. Oh. In case you didn't know that. Um, hopefully we are, uh, there we go. We see the comments starting to come in. Glory A, hello, Patrizia. Hello from Calabria. Hello, hello to everybody joining us. We just let uh, a few people come in to uh, know that everybody's getting the word. Same time, same channel. How okay. you been this week? How you been? You been okay? Talking to me. Talking I'm to me. talking to you. I'm yeah, talking, talking to you. Me. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing fine. I was gonna. I was gonna just mention that um, I'm getting to know some of these people, some of your friends from Europe, and stuff uh, through the social media, and and now that you know we've connected and become friends uh some of us and uh, and it's really <clears throat> it's been uh, wonderful to to meet some to have some new friends from other parts of the world you know it's let's hear a, a give me a ciao gwendolina say that mm. me ciao yeah. gwendolina ciao there you ciao go. gwendolina from it italia from, also patrizia reggio calabria reggio calabria is down uh, across from where we actually inhabit ourselves when we're in Italy. Let me go over to, uh, oh yeah, everybody's on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, cool, cool. Let me see, uh, I'm looking over, we can got a lot of people on Instagram. I should put that one, I wish that was integrated into the other uh, comments I see, but we'll work on that one. So what I want to start out with is, uh, there you go, found it. Amiri Terry, <laughs> Terry Amiri. Oh. Oh. Found it. There we go. Trish. Hello, Trish. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Um, I think I'll, I'm going to start off with a, uh, a video, believe it or not. <clears throat> And uh, this, is a, this is one of my first videos that I ever made. <laughs> very, uh, very primitive, primitivo, filming it in my living room. And we went, up, went out and about. And the only reason I say this is because it was such an unusual circumstance. I have a young girl. Uh, a friend of uh, the daughter of a friend who was actually staying at our house. They both were staying at our house then, and she's dry. I have her driving Devin's then car and all, and she's only twelve years old. <laughs> I should probably not say it that way, but she's very cool. She's very a very adult twelve year old back then, but she was literally only twelve years old, and we had her driving with. Obviously, the camera guy in the car and all. So when you watch it, you can look at it from that standpoint. But it's a wonderful song that I've taken to Australia and done over there, and everybody gets I get everybody to join in on the chorus and all. It's called. Wait, wait, wait now. Yes. Wait, 
did, did you did you folks notice pick up on that? He said, he said, I don't I, I don't know if I should say it that way. I'm going. How many ways are there to say she's 12 years old? <laughs> only one people, way to say. people would go, you have her driving a car. God, yeah, well, we did. You know, it was on wasn't on city streets that were inhabited. We had her driving separately and all that. But anyway, uh, OK, so it's called all about it's all about you. I love the song. And here we go. Bring it in here. Oh, baby. One thing I neglected to say was for those who are highly observant, you would see my lovely wife with blonde hair singing back up. <laughs> ah. Devin was one of those girls. She was one of the blonde girls. She great. had blonde hair for a few months while she was doing this uh, book called, uh, what was it called? Um, what's the name of the book, hon? Anyway, she did a, a kind of an expose on what it's like, how you're treated differently as a woman, as a blonde, as opposed to the brunette, which she grew up being brunette, naturally brunette. So she has this whole living in a blonde world or something like that. So when did, uh, when did you shoot that video? Oh, so many years ago. I, I can't yeah, even tell you. That thing that she had attached to her ear looked like a, a TV remote. It was huge. <laughs> the, yes, it was the old-fashioned uh, you know, in-ear things, yeah. 
<laughs> it, was, it was like massive. Yeah. We probably it probably borrowed it from, you know, my drawer of things just to make her look like an agent and all that. You know, my wife, my wife and I had a had a party once. Uh, we we went to a dinner party and uh, and everybody uh, dragged out dragged out their original. Uh, mobile phones, you know these, these things, oh God, yeah. things that look like walkie-talkies from like you know like from uh, World War Two. Right, and they <laughs> weighed about eleven pounds. Yes, it's giant phones it's with the with the antenna that went you had up to stretch here. the antenna out. Yeah, <laughs> you you felt so important <clears throat> having one of those bloody things. Oh yeah, yeah. And it was sure. like seven dollars a minute when you activated yeah. it. And you, you can see them on uh, on Friends reruns too, like the, those, <laughs> those phones that they use, you know, those huge things. In Do you 80s. remember the movie that Steve Martin did where he played the agent? He wanted to be an agent, a movie agent. And he, uh, I think it was the one with Eddie Murphy uh, that he did with Eddie Murphy as well. But he drives up in front of this restaurant and he's got one of those phones in his car. So he rips the 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 ear the, you know the earpiece out of the car and takes it into the restaurant and sits there at the table with the cord dangling down going to nothing <laughs> and he's talking trying to pretend he's a, a, an important agent <laughs> and <laughs> i think it was it's great robert downey jr or somebody that was like playing the person he was trying to impress and he was just looking at him like he was crazy <laughs> funny stuff funny stuff but i remember those phones yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy phones. I remember saying to somebody, someday we're going to have a little, a little version of this, just a little phone and, and no wires or anything, and you'll be able to take it everywhere and everybody will have one. <laughs> uh, that's probably why it happened, because I said that. Yeah. Well, I remember, I remember the, old, uh, the old, old, old TV show, uh, The Rifleman. Okay? Oh, it old, yeah. It was an old Western from the old times, you know. John and, uh, yeah, and uh, one of the episodes it was a closing scene. It was uh, it was uh, Lucas McCain and his son Mark, and they were on the porch, and uh, and Mark says, "You know, someday they're going to invent a machine that's going to replace horses," and uh, and Lucas says to him, "Really, Mark? I don't think so." <laughs> <laughs> Those are lines that you can keep forever. <clears throat> <clears throat> Devin and I became very good friends with Johnny, who played uh, Mark, the young son. Oh, Johnny, Johnny Crawford, yeah. Johnny Crawford really? on that. He, really? he would come up to the Playboy Mansion uh, all the time, so we'd see him up there. And he was an older, you know, older than me. I was a, I was a child when he was a kid, but he was yeah, still sev yeah. several years older than me. But he was a wonderful, wonderful kid. We, we really enjoyed spending time with him. Do you remember his hit song? No. It's uh let me see now. I wow, you actually course. remember it. Uh, let me see if I the key. The the boogeyman'll get you. Hear it. Your nose is gonna grow. Oh, oh, oh. The boogeyman will get you. There's something about this girl was lying to him. It's like, uh the boogeyman will get you. Your nose is gonna grow. I can't remember the key. But whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, I yeah, never knew. I never knew that he even had that record. Yeah, he did. That. He did another one too. Um, uh, oh no, no. Uh, sometimes I mix him up with. Uh, that was that was uh, that was Johnny Crawford. But sometimes mm -hmm. I mix him up with Paul Peterson, who was in the Donna Reed show. Paul Peterson had a couple of hits. He had a hit. Uh, uh, called My Dad. It was a song about my dad that they actually put in the in the episode. And then he had another hit uh, that was like um, She Can't Find Her Keys. You remember that song? It's like he's he's no. bringing her home. They went out to dinner and he's waiting to get his goodnight kiss. And she's looking at her pocketbook. She can't find her keys. She found the fire hydrant, da, 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 all these things she finds in her pocketbook. But she can't find her keys. <laughs> Anyway, those uh, those were teen idols from the old TV days. You, know? you just reminded me of somebody that I want to eventually have on with us, uh, another child actor named Billy Moomy. Oh, Billy Moomy did Lost in Space, and you're gonna have whole... him as a you're gonna have Billy as a guest. Yeah, 
That He's a very so... dear friend from a long time ago. We've got a lot of stories we can tell from back then. And uh, Danger Will Robinson. Danger exactly. Will Robinson. There we go. Uh, Billy also did some of the most wonderful episodes of The Twilight Zone. Yeah. Which we'll talk about, too. He's got some classic Oh, he was, he was a scary remembers. little kid in one of those episodes. He was really scary. The kid that everybody was afraid of. Remember that? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, man. But Billy's always been a musician, and he's got his own recording stuff, his own albums. Well, we got a lot to do there. Wow, that's great. I didn't know that. All right, this is, uh, we'll get right into it here. Keep the shows moving. This is a song off my, uh, my new album called Surprise Trip Love. And it's actually the uh, title track. And, uh, yeah. Let's just try it. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Moss with Surprise Trip Love. First time I've actually played this uh, live. So it's here we first, go. The first time he's ever played this live. <laughs> <laughs> Smart ass. Nice. It's 
not the whole song. The whole song has a cello and a bunch of beautiful sort of ethereal things in it. I really love that song. It came off really nice. Um, I'm sure it lends itself. Everything. It sounds like it lends itself to that kind of a that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. Picture that. Yeah. Very nice. Hey, I want to say hi to Sharon. Sharon's out there. Um, Trish Hooker said hello, flies. Hello, Trish. Getting to know you. This is nice. Should I play? Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I want to. I've got a, uh, a friend in Italy, Lele, Mr. Lele Bordia. Oh. Lele Bordia is an, a drummer extraordinaire <coughs> in Italy. Nice. He plays with us. He's in our band there. It's wonderful to see him here. Lovely to have you here, my friend. Yeah, what do you want to play? Oh, uh, country number, sort of a rootsy thing. I'll just Does it have a name? This is called this is called Kern River. This is a song about the Kern River in California. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Fly Amiro doing a song, a country song called called what? <laughs> called Short Memory Span. Called uh, no. Short Memory Span. It's called Kern River. Kern River. Kern River by Fly Amiro. Ladies and gentlemen. I'll never swim Kern River again. It was there that I met her. It was there that I lost my best friend. Now I live in the mountains I drifted up here with the wind I may drown in still water But I'll never swim Kern River again I grew up in an oil town, but my gusher never came in. And the river was a boundary where my darling and I used to swim. Till one night in the moonlight, it's swept her life away and Now I live on Lake Shasta At Lake Shasta Is where I will stay Now there's a South San Joaquin Where the seeds of the Dust Bowl are found There's a place called Mount Whitney From which the mighty Kern River comes down Now it's not deep nor wide But it's a mean piece of water, my friend I might cross on the highway I'll never swim her river again I'll never swim Kern River again It was there that I met her It was there that I lost my best friend I drifted up here with the wind I 
I may drown in still water, but I'll never swim Kern River again. It was there that I lost my best friend Now I live in the mountains I drifted up here with the wind I may drown in still water But I'll never swim Kern River again. Bravo, bravo. That was wonderful. I love that. Thank you so much. I love the yee. -ee -ee -ee. <laughs> <laughs> I love all that. That's so, so nice. It's like mule think... skinner singing, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. That was really, really nice, Fly. Thank you very much. Thank you. You should uh, you should really do music as a as a career. Yeah, sure. You're, you're yeah, really you really good at it. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, I'll, I'll you talk. You have a natural over. bent for it. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll talk that over with my corporate, you know, constituents. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to say a shout out to uh, Tiziano Cavallari. Tiziano, he, I think he's he's in here with us. I, I didn't see him on Facebook, but I think he's in here with us on Instagram. I and uh, Tiz How do you Tiziano that? is uh, our producing partner in Italy. And uh, he's also a bass player, ah. and he's uh, he's been practicing the stand-up bass uh, to uh, to do some stuff when we get back to Italy. So we're gonna check him out when we get back there. See how his fingers are. Trish Hooker says, she says, I follow you from your band. I started listening to your songs on radio. I used to sing along with you, Fly. I did not know that, Trish. I'm sure it, sure it sounded great. Maybe we'll get a chance to sing together on this show. Maybe maybe Ron will bring you on the show one of these days. Yeah. There we go. We can sing What together. does Trish play? I don't know. I don't know Trish. You know <clears> Trish, <throat> oh. do you? I, I haven't met her yet. Trish, are you uh, a musician? So nice, great song. She'll she'll answer somewhere <clears> along the way. All right, so I'm going to uh, put on a kind of a an intro, uh, an intro to our guest today. Oh, lovely! And before I introduce them, uh, I'm going to play a a video that uh, I quite still quite like, and I think you will enjoy it. Uh, I think it was actually the first video I played when we first started uh, a couple months ago, and but you weren't able to to hear it or see it. So this yeah. time you will actually be able to see it. So let me uh, play. This is a this is a song that I wrote during our I, the lockdown that happened uh, early uh, mid early to mid March of 2020. And Devin and I were officially locked down in Belgium for four months. We were supposed to be there for two, for four months. And uh, at a certain point, I got together with a musical friend there. And we, uh, he has a beautiful studio, Patrick Hamilton. And we, uh, 
we wrote and recorded this song called Dreaming in Color. And uh, basically, we recorded it in one day and went out the next day and filmed the little uh, video, music video for it. So uh, it happened very quickly, and it all came together amazingly seamlessly, and we were very happy with it. We filmed it around Belgium, and uh, the artist singing with me is Miss Ella Luna, and she sings in uh, the Belgian language, uh, Flemish, and she also sings in uh, French. Uh, so we translated my lyrics into French verses for her, and she sang it like that, and it came off really, really nice. So let me bring this up. This is a new way of uh, playing this back, and I'm hoping it works. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, I know how I have to do this. It's a little bit of a process, but we will get it. And this is called Dreaming in Color. And bingo. Where is it that we're going? Where is it we want to be? Will we still see our path? Steps wash back into the sea. Will any of this still matter if we're forced to lose the right? How will we make it out in time to go from this darkness back to the light? Free the slaves within us. Do it with us.
Nice. Hold on, hold on. Speaking of friends. Yeah. And back to, there we go. All right. God, I still love that. Still love that song. So let me bring in Ms. Ella Luna, who is uh, waiting in the waiting room. Come on in. Hi, Ron. Hi, Fly. Hello. Hi. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm nervous. <laughs> 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 this on a Sunday evening. <laughs> on the Sunday yeah. evening, you look like you're in a cave. Here, let, yeah. me, let, me, let me see no, if we I can see do... It. She's got a black curtain in back of her or something. It's very cool. Let me, let me try this. There we I go. I think Ron have been here. No? I have been there, yes. Yes. I, uh, we've, <laughs> <clears throat> we have visited Ella Luna a few times. And uh, let's give a shout out to Mr. Patrick Hamilton for... Uh, for helping us put together that song and all. It was really nice. Yeah. Patrick has a wonderful studio in Belgium. How is it in Belgium, my dear? Oh, it's very cold in Belgium. For the moment, we have only rain and a lot of wind and oh, terrible. Terrible. Not nice. Not nice. <laughs> oh, no. Too much Fair. rain. Too much rain. That's what Fly yeah. said about uh, back east where rain. he is. I'm in New England. Yeah. Yep. We oh. have, we've had a, we had a yeah. lot of rain. Torrential rain yesterday. And very cold. Yes. Very cold. cold. Mm -hmm. And with you, Ron, I think. It's beautiful. We have a, a little bit of a rainy thing happening here as well. It's clouds and all, but it's just beautiful. Yesterday was about 80 degrees. 80 oh degrees. My God. Uh, yep. But today it's a little cooler, yes. Um, but I love mm -hmm. it. I love it. I'm loving where we are here. Arizona. It's uh, the wow. weather's really nice. So, Miss mm -hmm. Ella Luna, you're you're still singing. You're still recording. You have new records out yes. all the time. Uh, I've been in the studio two two days ago or three days ago. Okay. And so on Thursday we will make the video, and then in about two weeks, my new song will come out. But it, this time it's in Dutch. So. Oh, okay. In my language. Now, now, do you usually sing in Dutch or do you usually sing in French? Normally in French, but um, normally the last um, songs that I sang um, was in Dutch and in French. So I made the two for my fans in uh, French and then the fans in Belgium. For people that in don't Dutch. know don't know uh, as much about Belgium. Belgium has about five actual distinct regions, uh, one of which is the French region of Belgium. They have a German region of Belgium. And, uh, and so Ella Luna is very popular in obviously the French part as well because she uh, sings and does performances in, uh, in the French language. But she's also popular in France as well because of the same thing. So. Uh, was French, French was not your birth language. No, Dutch was, not at right? all. Mm -hmm. yes. But you learned it well enough to, to sing and speak yeah, perfectly. Yes, I think it's because my, uh, my parents has um, a business in cars and trucks. <laughs> and I think that's why there were a lot of people from everywhere. <laughs> so a lot of French people. And uh, I love this language, really. I'm in love with this language. <laughs> I think French is a beautiful language as well. I, I remember studying it in school. Obviously, I didn't learn anything, but mm -hmm. I love the language. Um, but you, you speak a little. Uh, I learned you. <laughs> I, spoke, I spoke a little bit in our song that you taught yes. me because we translated it. Yeah. <laughs> I wound up doing a few lines in, in French, which was quite nice. Um, she was very cute before she came on. She was going, I don't know if my English will be good enough for this. Yes. <laughs> Why do you say she, that? <laughs> it's because true. Because it's, I think it's funny. I think it's, it's very cute. <laughs> I said, don't yes. worry. Your English will be fine. It'll all come English back is, to you. Is it's okay. <laughs> I just, I, I want to, I want to jump in here and just say Ella Luna. It's one of the most beautiful sounding names I've ever heard in my life. Ella Luna. It's just oh. rolls, rolls off the tongue. Do you sing, um, 
it you happen to sing the song La Mer in French? You know no. the French song, La Mer? Yes, okay. I know, but okay. yeah. not yet, not yet. No? Maybe okay. maybe I'll check it. <laughs> I can picture your voice doing that, La Mer. Yes. Mm -hmm. we have <laughs> I a, know the song. The, yeah, the English version, which is like, a, it's not even really a, it's not even a direct translation, that song, that, that the English version is like a, <clears throat> what is it, somewhere beyond the sea, da 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 da, -da. waiting for me, da 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 da, beyond the sea, different song but it's the same I will melody, check it out I will but they, check it out yeah they, they translated okay. it oddly mm. okay so I somebody did a it. version of that in French um oh yeah it was originally written in French uh -huh. it's originally La Mer by Charles Trenet it's and, very uh, nice yeah. yeah but I didn't try yeah. maybe maybe one day okay. maybe if we if you oh, want to sure. come back right. on the show you can uh, <clears throat> you can try your new song Oh, I want to yes, hear, maybe. I want to hear a lot of her. My new song, I wrote a text of my new song. So, um, yeah. Good. In Dutch. Dutch. And then um, in about two months, I want to. Um, we, we are making a new song, a summer song, but more up tempo. So. Mm -hmm. With Patrick are you doing Hamilton. This, uh... Are you doing this with Patrick as well yes. or somebody else? Oh, okay, cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm always in that studio. It's such Why a not? nice studio. It's good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's there. It's a great studio. So we were locked down for uh, four months there. And uh, I think we we saw you a couple of times during that time, mm -hmm. didn't we? While that, yeah, I came I, to see you. Yeah. In a show. We, in a show before... Mm -hmm before that happened and uh, I was doing a play there called Briskatze Hausfrauen. <laughs> Briskatze Hausfrauen, the housewives <laughs> of Briskatze. Uh, that's how it's translated. We spoke in English, Dutch and Flemish, <laughs> all in it the same wonderful. play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it worked out really well because we had a, a monitor, a TV monitor up above the stage that translated everything I said into Flemish. <laughs> um, which was great for anybody who didn't speak English, but most everybody in in Belgium s does speak English in some way. We speak very well English. <laughs> very well. Very, <laughs> very well. <laughs> but it was lovely doing that uh, song, and then s we decided let's do another song. So mm -hmm. we uh, we recorded Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah, and did a little another music. Uh, film for that one too uh -huh. and what I neglected to say was the dreaming in color that you just saw went to number one it went to the mm -hmm. number one yeah. spot on the charts in Belgium I still and love it, this one as well yeah and then yeah. we did the hallelujah mm -hmm. uh, which also went to number one our little yeah. video thing that we did so we recorded a third song, which uh, maybe we'll play will next do, time. Will you do a version of that song that where where you set a singing hallelujah, you sing Ella Luna? Wouldn't it be wouldn't it be just nice? Da la 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 Ella Luna, Ella Luna, Ella Luna. <laughs> Ron has to do that. <laughs> yeah, Ron right. has to sing that. Fly, <laughs> flies, flies getting romantic on us here. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna dream of Ella Luna, maybe. That's he a, likes that, my name. That, it's a beautiful name. It's 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 so poetic. It's just waiting to be. Oh, it's really? Waiting to be in song. Yes, it should be. In Thank song. you. <laughs> Ella, Ella Luna, Ella Luna. <laughs> we wait for you here. I can't. Ella Luna, <laughs> Ella Luna. Oh my God. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you here. <laughs> I hope to see you soon. I will book my flight. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> I hope to see you soon, Ella Luna. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. Getting crazy. So, so Ella I've Luna, heard? what do you have? Have, have you? traveled around doing your music in different places right different no, uh, not as I've much been, no i've been in france but then you know you know i work i still work a lot i don't sing only i work in the help me <laughs> 
in the uh, help me broad <laughs> help broadcasting me broadcasting no no, no. i work a lot uh, at my parents place oh, okay so that's why i cannot travel everywhere you but you have traveled to france to do concerts to france. in the past yes in the past yes. right france and but not uh, and to puglia to puglia 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 i've been to puglia, puglia last year you did <laughs> Yes. We didn't do any shows when you were there, did we? No, we just uh, sang two songs. You remember? You, On the party from... Was it, I uh, remember. It was Devin's, Devin's birthday party. Mm -hmm. I remember. So we, did, we sang those two <laughs> songs, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How, were you were kind of nervous for that, weren't you? Uh, I was nervous because <clears throat> you know what happened. <laughs> Everything always happens. Whatever can happen <laughs> does happen. <laughs> yes, I was nervous, but why do you after, think? Um, because it was too high for me. <laughs> the music. It was not. <laughs> you remember? So, so somebody didn't take the time to go. Is this the right key for you to sing this yeah. in? Yeah. So, and then we had some, but then we sang another song and that was okay then. I was happy. <laughs> Fly, this is something that most uh, performers don't really talk about. That element of being a little, you get that butterfly in your stomach and that kind of nervous thing mm -hmm. before you go on stage. Do you mm -hmm. have that fly? Do you, do you have that um, every time? Generally not, you know, I don't, I don't, I just, uh, I never, I never really had that. Um, I have, I have, if it depends. I mean, if there's a situation that I don't feel prepared for, if, if like there's somebody new that I'm working with and we haven't really worked out bugs and stuff like that, I might have some flutteries about certain things, but usually when, when things start, it just goes out of my head. I don't think about it, I guess. I don't know. I'm lucky that way, you know? I've been getting it lately when I when I'm performing and I didn't used to like you said I didn't used to feel that way at all but now now I do it is there's always that element of you're not you don't really know what's going to happen mm -hmm. everything is live anything can well, happen yeah, as exactly. Ella Luna you know, said. Yeah. like Ella Luna it's like if I if um <laughs> if somebody played if I was about to sing a song or somebody somebody played me back a back backing track of music that's in the wrong key it would make me very nervous. Yes, <laughs> was, I was so nervous. Yes, I, I can imagine. I can imagine right away. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. But uh, that I once, happens. I once backed up a, a blues singer. Uh, uh, she's she's popular here in the country in in the in the U.S. Her name is Tracy Nelson. She was uh, famous for a group called Mother Earth back in the '60s. And whenever she'd come to new to the Northeast. I would put a band together for her. She's just like a blues singing mama. She's really great. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. We got to be good friends. But um, I had like several guitars set up on the stage for her show. Um, and and there were certain keys that she sung in somewhere in open, open guitar tunings and different things like that. And uh, one of the songs that she does, um, and I'm trying to remember what the name of it was. But anyway, it's like I picked up the wrong guitar. So so I was I forced her to sing in a key that was like it's in the stratosphere compared to what she's used to. And it's a it's a good sport. She went through it. She got through it. But afterwards she said, What the hell did you do? I said, I don't know. I picked up the wrong guitar. I'm so sorry. It's like I'm lucky she didn't fire me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because once you start a song. And this is what happened with me and Ella Luna. Yeah. Once you start it, I I don't know why I didn't just stop it and change it to so I just kept on going, thinking, okay, we got to keep the show going, keep it going. <laughs> and I should have yeah. stopped it. In hindsight, it was like I should have I should have yeah. just taken. It. Okay, everybody, and I'm sorry, I... sorry. Let's start it over in the right. But she and I was singing higher and higher and higher. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I was See, when, it, when that happens to a guy, he just reaches down and has to grab his crotch and squeeze. Anyway, I apologize for doing that. I will never no do problem. that to somebody. Never <laughs> do that to something. There are some songs that men say refer to as, quote unquote, surgically high. 
You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> yeah. how yeah. high is that key? It's, it's surgically high, if you know <laughs> what I mean. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, we've all had those. Mm. How wonderful. Wonderful to have you on here. Yeah. I'm it's glad nice. you... Uh, for coming in. So I'm, I'm first, still I'm still curious first. about your your little background. You you have like this black <laughs> black garment on. You've got the black background. You've really? Got, yeah. Yeah. I'm just at home. <laughs> this is yeah. your natural environment, like you're in a cave. <laughs> she's, no, no. She's, she's, I'm just I'm just in a little place alone. I said. To everybody, go. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I have to be she's alone. A, now. She's doing the show in the, in a in a dressing room in a local uh, shopping plaza. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's she just shopped for that dress. She's yeah. got that dress on. Or is it a sweater? Is it a sweater right. that you're wearing? Is it a dress? It's a dress. Okay. Yeah. There you go. You see, she's she's in a dressing yeah. room. <laughs> yeah. I am. <laughs> no, I just wanted to be alone. <laughs> I just want to be alone. Doesn't you and alone. Uh, Greta Garbo. Greta Garbo, yeah. <laughs> well, wonderful, wonderful, you guys. Um, I was going to ask you, Eleluna, for uh, a story of doing your music, uh, some interesting story that happened, but you pretty much nowadays stay home and record at uh, Patrick's studio, and mm-hmm. you, you do your videos and all that. And uh, so you don't really get out on the road because Fly and I started this series yeah. as a way to tell stories about being on the road and mm-hmm, all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But do you have any stories of things that come up, come to mind? Of uh, anything I want you've... to start with that. You know, I want to start, but I have to have some more space. Uh, I mean, my work and my singing. I need yeah. more time for that you know more of the because time to do your much. music yes 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 i love it i i i need it you know i yeah. need it to live i need to sing sometimes live. sometimes the uh the work stuff of life gets in the way of us doing yeah. what we instinctively feel we want mm-hmm. to do all the time isn't it i know yeah. that one too i know yes. that as well that's uh that's life i I guess. No? I actually felt that same thing when I was doing the TV show, Bold and Beautiful. Mm-hmm. I felt like it was taking the majority of my life and I didn't have the time to dedicate to the music, which was more the passion, more the art form that I wanted to follow. Mm-hmm. I didn't consider the TV show to be the, an art form. I considered it to be a job, a job job. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, it was on TV. Yes, it was uh, you know, in the in the arts, something, you know, if, whatever you want to call it, but it wasn't the creative thing that I really wanted yeah. to do. So, so I understand your, I understand yeah. your dilemma very well. Singing is really, oh, <laughs> it helps you with yes. everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As I have said before, I think vibration is the healing element of our world. Mm-hmm. And I think our singing, the three of us, and anybody else we know that does music provides that element of a, it's a healing element of the vibration because you, you cannot see music, mm-hmm. you can only feel it. True. It's intangible. It's, it's so wonderful. intangible. It's, I, th- <laughs> it's I think wonderful. it's the most intangible of all the arts. Uh-huh. I, know, I know that like, uh, <clears throat> you know, most of the people that I know in the industry um, agree that <clears throat> that we're very, very lucky to be doing what we love to do for a living. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like, uh, I mean, I, I love to play music. I've, I don't even feel like I'm totally myself unless I'm playing or entertaining or trying to try to tickle someone or amuse someone in the audience, you know, to do that. I consider myself very, very lucky to be doing that. There are a lot of people who just sort of dread their daily grind. They they get up and they have to go to the same office and, and yeah. you know deal with the same people. We get to we get to travel. All, look at look at you, Ron. You're all over the place. You're you, you blink your eyes. You're in Italy. You blink your eyes. You're in Belgium. You're in Australia. You know, yeah. it's like uh, it's wonderful. You know, 
Yes, really? you know, like I mean, I wake up, I wake up in St. Louis, I wake up in Tokyo, and, it's, uh -huh. <laughs> and but it's, he's lucky that Devon yeah. goes all the way with him. Yeah. That's that's wonderful, yeah. and not everybody can do that. Mm -hmm. Now that's we're very lucky. That way. I think it's very lucky. wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We're almost to the end of our broadcast here, so I just wanted to do a few bars of uh, this song called Loving Life. It's also from my new album. So just a few bars of this, and then we can uh, say our adieus. Then we'll just go to a few bars and have a few drinks. We'll go to a few bars. There we go. <laughs> One way or the other. It's called Loving Life. I am looking forward to the great greatest day I can see for miles when there's nothing in the way oh yeah oh yeah I'm loving life oh yeah I'm loving life oh yeah oh yeah I'm loving life oh yeah I'm loving life be my passion Choice, be my future, my everything. It's a circle of life, and I'll wear it on my finger like a ring. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm loving life. Oh, yeah, I'm loving life. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm loving life. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Loving life. Bon. Well, happy song. <laughs> bon. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Bon. Très bon. Très, très bon. Bon. Très joli. <laughs> Ella Luna, thank you for joining us. We'd love to have you come thank back you. Uh, again. Thank you. I'm so happy to see you both. I'm glad it worked out very with uh, timing it's... and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, maybe it was next very time. Easy. If... You play you play guitar, right? No. But, or not really. No. No. You have to come over and we sit together. <laughs> yeah, like we've you done play. before. We sing. I remember yes. that, yeah. Yes. Okay. Because I want to get so, some way for you to come back on and sing, or maybe you just, uh, we can put your new, your new single out, your, two, okay. your new video when you get it. Okay. In Dutch. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. In Dutch. <laughs> wow. okay. okay. All of our Dutch. You can learn. You can learn. We have a lot of friends in... Uh, that speak Dutch as well, so I'm sure they okay. would appreciate it. Okay, it would be nice. Thank you. Mr. Fly, always Yo. good, my friend. Hey, man, nice hanging with you. You know? Lovely to meet you, Ella. That's really As well, lovely. for me as yeah. well. Now we're going to be singing Hallelujah, in, uh, Ella Luna instead of Ella Hallelujah. Luna, <laughs> Ella, Ella Luna, Ella Luna, Ella Luna. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, you. We uh, we send our love to you and your family, and uh, we will see you when you come back on. Hopefully soon. Okay. 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 Be okay. well. Do you your too. music. You bow too. Okay. Finish finish your video. I come back. Okay, I Thanks. will. Thank you for being here. Thank All right. you so yes, much. thank you for thank you very much. I hope you come back to Belgium and maybe fly can oh, come I over would, as well. I would love that. I've never been to Belgium. I've been to I've been to France. You know, I've oh. never been to Belgium. It's um, beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness, I bet. Right when, next door. When, when does it get warm? Yeah, because it's too the cold. French now, fries. Right? Uh, when does when, it get warm in Belgium? When does it get warm? I hope soon. Uh, <laughs> soon. Normally, normally, I think in one month we have yeah. a little, a little warmer. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right, sweetie. Okay. Bye, bye. Cheers and uh, kisses and hugs to you. Bye. 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 bye, -bye. <laughs> Very. She's sweet. gone. Just like that. She's gone. Ella Luna. Ella Luna. <laughs> That's very cute. All right, my friend. I love you. 
I love you, man. And uh, you will uh, you will not be with us next week. You're uh, that's right doing something much more important. I'm going to be on a I'm going to be on a bit of a road trip. A road yes. trip. And I'll just tell you a brief secret. It involves the total eclipse of the sun, which is going to be happening on April eight. Ah, uh, yes, I've been hearing about uh, this. Yes, and I'm going to a place where I can see it in its totality. Which is Are you flying time. someplace to no, do I'm this? No, it's going to, my wife and I are going to take a drive trip to Vermont. Um, and uh, we, there's a beautiful house up there in a pastoral setting that we'll be uh, spending the weekend at. <clears throat> and uh, so it'll be, it'll be nice just to get away, you know? Lovely, lovely. Yeah. All right. Safe trip, and we will see you when you come back. Okay, man. Try to get along without me, okay? I'll try. It's going to be difficult. <laughs> good. It's going to be luck. difficult, my friend. Good luck with that, Ron. I, you know, I wish you the best. <laughs> Ciao, Fly. Ciao. Bye-bye. Bye. All righty. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We love you. Stay sane in this crazy-ass world. And uh, it'll be interesting for that sun eclipse. Let's uh, everybody be mindful of everything around you because stuff is getting interesting. All right. Sending you love, and we will see you next week. I will be here next week, and I'll surprise you with uh, some stuff. Ciao, ciao.